Starting later this summer, hundreds of hunters will disperse across Florida's Everglades. Their target? An apex predator known to grow up to 18 feet that hunts animals as large as an alligator and sometimes as small as a wood rat. These hunters are going after the Burmese python, one of the largest species of snakes and a major nuisance to Florida's wildlife. Native to Southeast Asia, these snakes were first introduced to the Florida wild in the late 1970s, and they have reproduced at an astronomical level since. Starting August 5th and continuing for 10 days, those hunters, both professional and novice, will fan out in South Florida to humanely capture and kill these snakes for the state's annual python challenge. Registration for the 2022 challenge opened last week. Anyone interested in competing must first register and take a required online training that covers humane killing methods and ways to identify these snakes. It's an important program that will help restore Florida's ecosystem, according to Donna Khalil, a Florida-based python hunting professional. Last year's competitors removed 223 invasive Burmese pythons from the Everglades. To try to keep the Everglades healthy, you have to have the animals that belong in it. And in order to do that, you have to remove the invasive predator that is the Burmese python, said Khalil. This competition is no easy feat, nor is it for the faint of heart. Aside from actually having to catch a Burmese python, participants have to contend with the harsh environment of the Florida wilderness in the middle of summer. Take it from Khalil, a lifelong snake lover and python hunter. She works as a contractor for the South Florida Water Management District and her job is to catch and eliminate these invasive Burmese pythons. Last year, Khalil competed in the 10-day competition and came out on top in the professional category after catching 19 pythons. Last year's grand prize winner, Charles Dutton, successfully removed 41 pythons. Khalil plans on competing later this summer, but for her it's just business as usual. For newbies considering a go at the $10,000 grand prize, Khalil has some tips and tricks.